Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Calmston Farms here in Farming Simulator 22. I have fixed my auger wagon. It is now correctly loading lime, as it should have been in the first place when I checked the files. Um, because auger wagons will do seed fertilizer and lime, as well as the grain type crops and things. Um, so I'm just going to put some lime in it then we're going to go to the field we're going to refill the lime spreader that was doing field nine in the last video before it ran out and uh we're going to make sure we've got some more lime we're going to buy another eight pallets Might buy another eight pallets. I'll load it up. Load it up with bulk fill. So the stone picker is running again. I've set him off running again. So he's still picking up the uh, stones on field five. And then I'm going to get into all the lovely, um, as I say, lime spreading. There should be enough lime here to mostly fill this. Because obviously we're going to do field 9 and we're going to do field 5. So I don't want the uh, lime spreader to keep running out of lime. And also, this trailer will come in useful in future when we're doing harvesting contract, uh, doing harvesting work, because it can act as the, as a a, a, a go an in between, so it can work in between the tractor and the trailer. I do like the bulk fill mod. It just lets you single click once and it will unlo it will fill all the pallets that are in its collection range. But obviously it's a little bit slow. Now the pallets are out of range, so I just need to just just move a touch. Just need to move a slight bit. That electric tarp is going to be a bit of an issue because I think, I think the lime is probably going to clip through it. In which case, um, I might be better off removing it. Right, we are full, ladies and gents. So there's a couple, two pallets left. I'll have to come back for those. Yeah, that, that tarp's going to be a problem because the lime clips through the tarp. So uh, that's not quite the quality I would expect from a custom modding mod. I would have expected a slightly better amount of... Um, I would have thought they would have perhaps fixed that issue before they released the mod. They would have tested that and see, spotted that and gone, hey, our, um, there, better. 
I'll just have to live without it for now. Anyway. We'll take this. Over to the lime spreader. And we will refill the lime spreader. Hey, Mr. Stone Picker's nearly finished doing the stones, so I want to get this lime spreader going pretty quick. I can lower that down just a touch. Oh, does that require me to have to manually go in there and open that? Yes, it does. He should carry on with his lime spread editing. Excellent. What we'll do then, we'll nip back to the store while he's currently doing his current load of lime. We'll grab those two pallets that I bought extra we'll refill and then we'll be ready like so we'll have enough lime to do we'll have enough lime in this to do four real refills um, which will be good Fortunately, though, I am buying all this stuff. I am burning through my money a little bit. And I still haven't yet got my um, slurry spreader. Have I? Uh, slurry spreader and drag hoses. Uh, which I need to um, consider investing in. Um, I think when it comes to slurry spreaders, I think we're going to get the one from Precision Farming, which should be there. It is. So we're going to want that one. Yeah, I can't afford that at the minute now. Um. Unfortunately, that has kind of bust me out. Um, might have to sell some stuff. And then, of course, even if I bought that, I would need then to get um, drag hoses, drag hoses, ext enhanced drag hose booms. These are all good. These are all good. Because you can switch on and off the different sections of those booms. Handy little mod that came out on the mod hub. Adjustable um, spreading width. Oh, now I've knackered it.
I got him stuck. Let's take it this way a little bit. There we go. I think my lime spread has run out again. Dude's, dude's left the cab again. Uh, no. Cancel. Done that wrong. Done that wrong. Again, it always defaults to first waypoint. <laughs> I know that used to be my big complaint in FS19. It always used to default to nearest or closest. And I was like, and like you always want it to do first waypoint first when starting a course and starting on a field but now in fs19 more often than not you want it to start at nearest waypoint because you're picking up with jobs in progress wonder if i can all, i can refill him on the go What do you reckon, ladies and gents? Do you reckon I can... I can get close enough to him? <laughs> I can pour lime into him as he's going. That's hilarious. Unfortunately, I can't drive as quickly as him. That's one way to keep a lime spreader from running out of lime. <laughs> keep it topped up in the field. I don't know what the fold unfold org wagon business is all about. Am I missing something here, ladies and gents? I'm not seeing what fold unfold does on the old wagon. I 
freaking bats is a bat, doesn't it? We might need more lime to do field five. I might not have enough. Well, certainly won't have enough. He's nearly used this whole auger wagon just to do this one field. So I'm going to need just as much. Right, he has missed some little bits. But not to worry, we can do that. We can take care of that. Alright, he didn't want to take care of that bit. Do I need to have me crop sensor on? Is that what it is? That's probably it. Right, let's... So he's going to do this field next. Okay. Why does this dude stop? I don't get that. Why have you stopped? You're not supposed to stop. <laughs> okay, he's ready. Um, we need to go fill this guy up again. He is absolutely struggling to pull this trailer, though. I don't get the... I don't... I, I honestly don't get the whole folding business. What is folding on it? I have no idea. It's not the tarp, because the tarp didn't open and close when I had the tarp fitted to it. It didn't.
Yeah, I'm hitting the fold button, but I'm not seeing anything changing. Unless it's something to do with the rear hitch. Again, the option I didn't have put on this to have a rear hitch. So you could tow something else behind the orb wagon. Right, we'll, we'll fill it up from my lime spreader machine now. Because I bet that's going to be cheaper. That seems a lot cheaper than buying it from the shop. Could have probably done with putting a better top on this field with the landscape tool. There we go. That's him positioned ready. Uh, stone picker still picking stones. Seems to be working okay now. All the stones collected and things. Right, I'm going to take this fella. Uh, I'm going to go up to the canola fact, uh, the oil factory. I'm going to get some canola oil, I think, because I could do with them um, selling some stuff. Because I I need to buy that slurry wagon, and then I'm going to need to be able to buy the drag hoses that go on it. So I'm going to need a lot of money. There aren't any um, supply contracts that I can do at the minute, so I can't earn any money from those. Because we don't have soybeans or anything. This truck is ever so weird, by the way, ladies and gents. I don't know if I've explained this yet in the series, but if you look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen at my fuel gauge, you will notice this truck has no fuel it's run out of fuel and therefore it shouldn't be working um if you try to fill it up with fuel you can't fill it up it doesn't work you drive to a fuel station and then press the button to refill nothing happens you can't refill it so what you do when you want to refill the fuel in the truck you come down to your pallets that you want to pick up right so i want to pick up these canola pallets i pick up the canola pallets and look my fuel has gone up a touch we're now in green we've got a little bit of fuel in the bottom right hand corner there ladies and gents and that's not a lot of canola oil in fact that's quite bad What have we picked up there? Is that some butter? Unsalted butter. Okay. Do, we not have any, do I not have any more products at this point in time? I 
Have I run out of stuff? Really? I would have thought I had more oil than that. No, I don't. I am producing it. I've got 75,000 litres in the factory. It's just not actually making anything. Um... Okay, we'll take this back anyway to the, the farm shop, get it sold. We'll have some bread. There's a couple, two pallets of bread as well sitting outside the bakery, which I can grab. And we can sell those. I mean, that's not going to make me a lot of money, but it's something. We'll get probably get another payout as well tonight when we sleep from the BGA, because I've still got manure and slurry going through the BGA. So that's good. But yeah, it's weird how this truck works with the fuel. The fuel gauge increases as the number of pallets that you have on the trailer increases. <laughs> I don't understand that bit of logic. But yeah, I'll get Mr. Stone Picker Man. Once he's off the field, I'll clear him out of the way. And then we can start Mr. Lime Spreader off. And then we can obviously keep Mr. Lime Spreader popped up with lime. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I've sucked out, sucked up a load of eggs. Which are meant to go in my bakery, ladies and gents. Um, No spare capacity for eggs. Okay, fair enough. I understand that. I accept that. You know, I can tolerate that. What we'll do, uh, we'll just load up with the bread. Um, I, I must have sucked my flipping eggs out of storage. That wasn't very good, was it? Uh, there's apparently a load of bread. We have got tons of bread, ladies and gents. Right, so the leftover eggs we will sell in the farm shop. <laughs> um, we'll get the rest of the, the, the bread and things. Plenty of bread in there. I notice the pallets don't spawn as fast now since the last game update. Which is a bit weird. I'm also having to sometimes manually click the loading button. It doesn't just auto load. Which is a bit of a pain.
Ah, okay. I was overloaded. That's what it was, ladies and gents. I was overloaded. Of course, cakes are not accepted at the farm shop directly. So we have to use the little placeable place over here. to sell our cakes. Perfect. Right. Mr. Stone Picker Man has finished. Excellent. Excellent. Tell you what we're going to do. We are going to save that course. The course blow. Um... And that is field field five stone collect. Just in case we ever have to do it again. There we go. Let's just lower my draw bar again. <laughs> right, this fella has a course loaded in him, obviously, currently, so we can save that as uh, Field 9 Lime Spread. Clear the course. Uh, just need to find the other Lambo. Because now we need to clear the course from him. Great job. Course play field work. Field position. Yeah, we'll set that somewhere down here. Or will we? No, we'll set it on the side here. Okay. Target position we'll set as well. There. That's... Oh, I've got to create the course, haven't I? <laughs> okay, so we're going to set him again. Going to 40 meters. And go left and right. Generate the course. Close the course. Target position is going to be there. There. And start job. He should drive to that. He'll unfold. Need to move this guy out of his way though. I'll just sling him round onto here for now. Our fent. And then we need good friend. Our good friend, Mr. Uh, Auger Wagon. Yep. 
You know, we're getting some bounce, aren't we? Bounce, 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 bounce. to keep our lives better. <laughs> Full. Come on. This tractor really is struggling with the weight of this auger wagon. We are doing it. <laughs> However, uphill, I'm going to struggle. Let him get a little bit of further ahead now. And then he'll he'll empty. He'll swing around this corner here. And then he'll do the the top headland. And we can uh, we can just make sure we are well matched. Just trying to get a couple of alternate screenshots. <laughs> for the thumbnail. Now, I think next time I do this job, um, probably want to put it on the the old wagon on the other tractor on the other lambo and let him take the turn without me being in his way Bump a load of stuff into him.
Why is he reversing? That was weird. Not gonna lie, that was a weird move that he did. Oh, it's because he's doing a turn. He's actually doing a sharp corner lock. That's what he's doing. Ah. Horse plate's actually doing what I told it to do for once. Very interesting. And I'll just keep you topped up. I'm struggling to keep up with him. Bit of an issue. Okay, and then he didn't do a turn there. He just... Don't get it. I thought I thought for for a minute cosplay was doing what it was supposed to do. And then it decided at that point, now nah, I'm not gonna bother doing a turn. Just gonna uh do what I like again. <laughs> So we look at the soil, the soil, the uh, nitrogen, uh, the pH value is now perfect for this field. Okay. Perfect. And it looks like he's just got a couple of rows to do left and right then. Right, ladies and gents. Well, I will stay with this guy now. Obviously, till he's finished this field. 
Uh, at that point, it's probably going to be too late to start anything new. So what I'll do is I'll probably go to sleep. Uh, come back January 2nd. Hopefully still no snow. And if that's the case, then we'll get the old... Um, we'll get be able to get the slurry spreader purchased. And uh, we can start doing some... Uh, organic fertilising. Um, mineral you know, of these fields to, you know, get our envi environmental score proper. Right, that's it. We are now completely out of lime. So if he needs any more lime for this field, he's going to be um, SOL. Because um, I haven't got any more to give him. But well, that's it then, ladies and gents. I hope you've enjoyed today's video i am gonna carry on like i say get that lime done when we come back for the next video then it will be a new day the sun will hopefully be shining and we can get some um other jobs taken care of here on the farm on the fields as we start working towards the spring and then obviously seeding come the springtime Uh, I'm going to park this round the back, next to my trailer here. And like I say, we'll probably be using this in the harvest as well. Because it holds more than my trailer, so... It'll be a good buffer. Between trailer and, um... Harvester. We'll leave that there. And I, ladies and gents, I'm going to leave you here. So, thank you for watching today's episode. I'll catch you all very soon with some more farms and content. But for now, from me, see Waddy, it's goodbye. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe, everybody. Cheerio.